Hi, I'm Gene, and welcome to Assess Minutes, where we take a complex assessment topic and break it down to make it easily understandable, because minutes matter. So I'd like to take just a moment to quickly review two broad categories of assessment that because they work so closely in tandem, sometimes get a bit confused. They are screening assessments and diagnostic assessments, and they are depicted by the images that you see on the screen. Screening assessments are like going to the doctor for a physical exam, while diagnostic assessments are more like uh, having an MRI test ordered for you. So let's use this medical analogy. Uh, we're all told that we should ideally uh, go to a doctor annually for a physical. And during that physical, uh, your doctor observes a handful of key metrics that are easily to measure, easily observed, uh, and that are closely related with overall general health. And if those general metrics seem like they are within ranges, then we're told everything looks good, come back in another year. However, if some of those key metrics are out of range, then your doctor may begin a series of diagnostic assessments to determine what's going on. So things seem off during the physical, so let's go in and let's have an MRI to determine what may or may not be happening. Uh, I think the reason that we're getting so many questions that, that talk about the nature of screening versus diagnostic assessments is because of the rise of requirements to screen students for the characteristics of dyslexia. Now, let me give you the whole phrase and so let's break it down. Uh, many government agencies are now talking about the uh, universal screening for the characteristics of dyslexia. Now, that's got two parts. Universal screening means that all students are screened, screened students screened universally. But notice the second part, and this relates to the diagnostic versus screening. Universal screening for the characteristics of dyslexia. Because a screening tool, like a physical exam, can measure some things and look at key characteristics and see if they are within or outside of ranges, but it takes a more diagnostic tool like an MRI machine to make a definitive diagnosis. So what we're being asked to do is to look at key metrics about kids. If they seem like they're fine, continue on. But if they seem like they are out of range, as if that student might have some of the characteristics of dyslexia, then we send them on for some more thorough diagnoses. It takes the definitive tests, the really involved battery of tests to determine whether a student does or does not have dyslexia making that diagnosis.